Welcome back, everybody, to today's episode. I uh, just want to throw this log, this bedrock, and this axe into this fire because I was just helping uh, Dragon film a video and I needed to spawn a few things. So I'm back and I'm ready to film an episode. So you guys will see that video at some point. But today, we're going to work... What's that? Sheep. The good old tree sheep. I don't know where they come from, but they're always around. Today we are going to dig into here and complete this pathway, and I think I'm going to make it like a, like a, I don't know, like a minecart tunnel type thing, because I did a little bit of work down here in the reed farm, and we have to connect it, because there's no way down there, and it's a real pain in the behind to get up and down. And like I told you guys a few episodes ago, before 1.4 comes out, you guys gotta start harvesting your reeds because you can't trade so much with the um, wow my English and thought process is just failing pretty hard right now the the villager guys they won't trade with you indefinitely anymore they will only take so much and then they'll stop so harvest as much as you can and earlier today I, I came down in here and I cleaned out all the chests because they were just full of all kinds of building materials so that being said let me get reorganized here, and uh, I'll see you up top. Oh, also, I had to rework all the wiring here, so it's actually a lot simpler now. It just runs down here and splits, and I don't even know why I showed that. Okay, time to cut. Okay, I finally made it out of the reed farm. I only had two ender pearls, and I actually couldn't get out, which is hilarious, because that's why I'm building this. So it's going to look something like this. I'm just going to like cover this back wall in actually I want to you know it's all these things like I like I always do I don't plan ahead and I figure oh I'll do this and now it looks like this is only four wide and I need it to be five so hold on much better so now I want to put these in here I'll put that like that a little hole here make I have no sticks on me but good thing I have wood cobble blammo so like I said it's going to be a like an old timey an old timey mining thing I should just stop this video right now the words today are just failing me so but we're gonna we're gonna power through that's what we'll do power through so this will be put on these, and the tracks will go like here-ish, and then start down into the mines. Hold on, I got. See, can I if I put that there? Oh, I did not think that would work. Okay, let's make the floor pretty. It's all about the looks. Bingo! Oh, what a fail! Okay, let's cut. Well sidetracked because it's been brought to my attention that part of my tunnel burned down so that is not good I'm gonna have to dig around and find the source like I just said and I can hear it yeah I'll have to dig so that's going to sidetrack us a little bit and uh, for Kwan he's next door working on his tunnel yeah you can definitely hear the fire just gotta figure out if it's above or below I think it's actually below. Because I'm not hearing it too much. It's one of those things. It's like trying to find something just by sound. Okay. I'll be back to the project. There's some fire. All the fires are put out in the nether. And I've returned to this. And of course I've made it overly complicated. Like I always do. So you put down your minecart, you get in, you press the button, then you go. And the way I did that is there's a piston back there, so when you press the button, the piston comes up, then this goes on, and then it goes away. The reason I did it, because at first I thought, for some reason, if I put this here, and I put my minecart down, like where am I going to put the button? And I figured that this is already powered, so these would constantly be powered. I didn't even investigate. I just went right away into making some redstone craziness. So, yeah, I gotta stop saying so. But it's, it's 
just one of those things. You just say it. When you want to go on to the next thing, you say, so. I want to ask you guys something. This episode seems rather crazy to me. Uh, I, I've done a few things already, and it seems to be haphazard. And I want to know what you guys want. Uh, generally, myself, I sort of plan out what I'm going to do for the day. Like, I knew I was going to work on this tunnel, so... You know, I got all my equipment together, and away I go. But, you know, the, the nether fire happened, and me helping out Dragon happened. Do you guys mind, like, just the randomness? Or do you want me to stick to, like, one plan? And be like, this is what we're doing today, and then show nothing else. I think that you guys like the randomness, just so that you can see the, the little bit of stuff that goes on the server. And... We're getting more and more people on. It's it's quite active lately. We got a few new guys who are trying out. They're on like two week trials, but so there's lots of people on. So you get a lot. You get to read a lot in the chat. And the funny thing is, I've noticed that me myself, other YouTubers, and even the guys on the server here, when you're actually recording and talking to your audience, you don't hear or see anything that the other guys are saying. People could be yelling your name and you're just focusing on what you're doing and talking. So I find that just rather comical. So this is just digging. So that's why I, I took this opportunity to talk and I I'll update you guys when it's a little bit closer to being finished because this is boring as heck. Well, we've dug down about that far not very far, and we've come to lava. And that, of course, wants me... It's just begging me to do something cool to it. Like to have a glass tunnel through it. And I just gotta get down there without dying. So, just had to press record on that because it looks like a lot of fun. However, it is going to be tricky to get down there and work around it. But we'll do our best. That's what it's all about. I think I'm really low on glass too, so this might be a harder job than I thought. And if we go down, it will look like this. Then that will be there. That's one block above. Yeah, so. Yeah, it should be alright. And we do have to make a turn to the left at some point. Maybe I'll make that here. Let me go up to the surface, do some math, probably smelt some glass, and we'll be back with you and you can see what she looks like. Yay, fire resistance. That's that's what we're doing here. Doing a little bit of underwater work. Well, I guess it's under lava work. But it's coming along pretty good. And I think... I think I got enough glass to do what I want. Just, I don't want to, like, ruin any lava. Which is the hardest part. So I'm trying to be careful. Because I can't really fill in anything. Just like that. Okay. I know it's hard for you guys to see with me being on fire and everything, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So we're just putting putting some glass walls around here. And the good thing is, like I said, we needed to make a turn, and this is where we need to turn. Where are we here? This fire is getting annoying. I wish I had some water just to put myself out. So we come down here. And then we go down this direction. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, That's that doesn't line up at all. I screwed everything up. I'm going to have to get some buckets of lava and replace this. Stupid. Stupid. So this should go there. Like that. And I'll have to break these things and put lava in there to fix that. Now this is fine. I'll have to fill that in. And this needs to be walled like that. Okay. So if I break that, and I break this. Okay, so that's the turn. Now we'll fill all this in with glass like so. And I'll, I'll clean up this this area a little bit. That's exactly how I want it. And we're no longer on fire. Actually, maybe we'll just keep it like that. No, we will have to break those and then fill that in with lava. Then we'll keep going in this direction. Alright. We're making progress. 
the the cool thing is it was like almost perfect spot to make the turn perfect so see you guys at the bottom of this tunnel we'll get there eventually trust me all right I did a little bit of work and it's done so we'll get in here press the button and you guys can take a look see I haven't put in the uh, the redstone tracks yet just cuz had to show you something and I want to end this episode soon but there's a few things that I gotta do that I remembered so that's it nothing too fancy it's just a, a stone pathway but it is finished but something has changed in the recent snapshot video something that we did a few days ago no longer works and it makes me sad because I put a lot of work into it so let's go there now and we can cry about it together here it is the wither boss killing chamber if you guys are unaware in the latest snapshot now when you build a wither boss he actually like has a little mini explosion I think uh, Mojang noticed that people were thinking about building little killing huts like this and that he actually doesn't destroy endstone with his like attacks so they decided to make him explode to blow up any containment facility so this thing is now utterly useless so I, I guess we'll just leave it here in memorial of our awesome plan and then terrible turn of events and now that I'm in the end here I thought about oh this might not be good oh crap not good what happens if you throw an ender pearl into the void okay I think we're safe I wanna get out of here as soon as I can and we have a chunk air come on render so I can get out of here but I was gonna do an enchantment for like a subscriber shout out but I realized I don't have any diamonds oh and my spawn is not reset not good everything's just bad been a bad couple days today I think so what am I going to do what's my plan oh yes I needed to remind you guys in yesterday's video or even today's video leave some comments about what you want done with this this roof flat roof with a pattern domed roof with a pattern or the walls go straight up into the sky and all in creative mode rip out all the bedrock so it goes straight up into the nothingness so leave some comments because you're running out of time because by the time you read this or what by the time you see this video I will probably already started doing something based on the comments already so you don't got a lot of time to leave a comment on that and I think I'm going to end the video here I can't think of much more to do right now so I'm gonna go relax watch some YouTube videos of my own not my own videos but videos in my subscription box so see you guys tomorrow